with love, Laura. Oh, hi guys! You've come just in time. I'm finishing off a letter to all our Caris Kids leaders. I've got a mission for them this week. Just one sec. Gotta get this in here. All right, all done. Okay. Welcome, welcome everybody. If you're new here, hello. My name is Pastor Laura and I'm so glad that you can join us today. Right now, let's all stand to our feet. Yes, we're going to do some stretching exercise, you know, like shake away all the tired and lazy muscles that you have in there. Are you ready to praise and worship God? Well, I can hear you. Are you ready to praise and worship God today? Have a ready deep. Come on, let's go. Hello, Carrie's kids. Come and acknowledge God with Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31.
Especially remember our beloved teachers. I want to pray for our caring kids, teachers, that you will give them strength and wisdom to do the good works they have been doing throughout the weeks. Bless them and protect them and their families. Help us too, Lord, to learn more about you through the online service. We commit the online service into your hand. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hello, Caris Kids. I'm Teacher Michael. How are you? I hope everyone is fine. Remember which book in the Bible we learned in Book 3? Yes, Book of Acts. Saul, who didn't believe in Jesus, did a lot of bad things to the Christian. Later, 
he had a special encounter with Jesus and he changed his name from Saul to Paul. Paul became one of the leaders in the new church. He traveled all over the Roman Empire sharing the good news of Jesus and when he was not able to travel, he wrote letters. Oh, this is a letter for me. Thank you, Esther. This is a letter addressed to me. Have you ever received a letter from a friend before? People do not like letters like they used to. Email and text messages and social media have taken the place of most of the letter writing that happened in the past. But from time to time, people today still write letters to share stories and information or just spread a little love or encouragement. The New Testament is filled with letters that were written by the early church leader, most of them by Paul. Paul became a missionary and as he traveled the world, he wrote letters to the churches and people he met. Today, we are going to focus on seven letters he wrote to churches to teach and correct their problems. He encouraged them to stay strong and united for Jesus. Stop, stop! See what I have here. Oh, what is that? It is a letter. Let's see what's inside. Wow! It is a letter from Pastor Laura. She sends her love to all the leaders in Children's Church. Yeah, she's encouraging everyone in the Caris Kids team to love one another and to stay faithful for Jesus. Oh, speaking of this, it reminds me of the time Paul wrote seven letters to the seven churches. He said the same thing to the leaders too. Yeah, yeah, I think I remember. Esther? What is that sound? Why is the ground shaking? Is it an earthquake? Oh no! Oh. Is the building going to collapse? Oh. Ah. Esther, where are we now? There are so many soldiers behind us. The church was divided during that time, with many people saying, Paul is our leader! Paul? Yes, yes. And other people saying, No! Apollo is our leader! Apollo? Yes, yes. Sure. Paul reminded the Corinthians that though they heard the good news of Jesus from many different people, it is not those people they need to follow. Jesus is our leader. Jesus is the Son of God, and we all need to Focus on Jesus. Yes, I agree. Oh no, not again! I hope. <laughs> so painful. I think I'll be getting bruises from falling down all the time. Yeah, I agree. 
Your Highness, what are those? I think uh, those are ancient ruins of the bathhouses in Galatia. Yes, in the book of Galatians, Paul explains that we are saved by faith. Some people in Galatia think they can work hard to earn salvation, but Paul reminded them that salvation is a gift from God and cannot be earned. Jesus had already paid the price for our sins that we could never pay. Oh no, another earthquake! I don't want to fall down again! I know what I'm going to do! Why don't we run with that? Those things, those columns are so huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are we now? I think uh, this is the library in Ephesus. That reminds me, Ephesians is the next letter. The most famous passage from this book is where Paul teaches us to put on the full armor of God. Paul uses the armor and the weapons of the Roman soldier to explain how we can defend ourselves from temptations. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Yeah, I hear it. Let's go, Daniel. I, I don't want to wait for the ground to shake again. Yeah. Let's go. Oh no, look at that. The building is destroyed. <sighs> These are the ruins of a Christian church Fine. Paul's letter to the Philippines is filled with thanks and encouragement. The Philippines were big supporters of Paul. Like Paul, they were bullied by people who did not believe in Jesus. It is still a book that encourages Christians today. I'm so tired from running. Hey, why are you wearing my hat? Look! That's a very beautiful remote. What a nice place to rest. Guess where are we now? I know, I know. This is the Lycus River in Colosse. It reminds me of the letter Paul wrote to the Colossians. Like many of the letters, Colossians were written to correct some of the wrong beliefs the churches had and to ask them to return right direction. Paul wanted the believers to be united in Christ and in faith. Yes, I like that. Let's go, Esther! I don't want to stay here forever! Oh, yeah. Rico is very nice. Oh, yeah. Esther, let's go, let's go, let's go! Esther! We are finally back in church! Yes! Yes, I miss the church so much! Wow! What an adventure! We had a one-day trip to so many places! Yeah, Paul was already an amazing leader. He wrote to so many places, correcting the early Christians' behaviour and encouraging them to stay strong and united, just like the leaders and pastors of our church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we have to teach the children not to fight, but to love one yeah, another. Yeah. Uh, Esther? You hear that? Oh no, are we going to another place again? I'm so tired, I just want to go home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, me too, me too. Let's go, let's yeah, go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. A person's body is one thing, but it has many parts. Yeah, there are many parts to a body, but all those parts make only mm, one body. Christ is like that too, but we were all baptized into one body through one spirit, and we were all made to share in the one spirit. So like we said, a person's body has more than one part. It has many parts. The foot might say, I'm not a hand so I'm not part of the body. But saying this would not stop the foot from being part of the body. The ear might say, 
I am not an I, so I am not part of the body. Saying this would not make the ear stop being part of the body. If the whole body were an eye, the body would not be able to hear. You mean we couldn't hear music or funny jokes? Exactly. And if the whole body were an ear, the body would not be able to smell anything. Wait, wait, wait. You mean like cookies, flowers, nothing? You got it. Nothing. If each part of the body were the same part, there would be nobody. God put the parts in the body as he wanted them. He made a place for each one of them. And so there are many parts, but only one body. The eye cannot say to the hand, I don't need you. And the head cannot say to the foot, uh, hey mate, uh, I don't need you. Those parts of the body that seem to be weaker are really very, very important. God did not want our body to be divided. God wanted the different parts to care the same for each other. If one part of the body suffers, then all the other parts suffer with it. Or if one part of our body is honored, then all the other parts share its honor. All of you together are the body of Christ. Each one of you is a part of the body. Hello children, I'm teacher Shireen here. Now for today we are going to learn the hand motions of the seven books in the Bible. Now starting from Romans, let's give a sharp military salute. Now for 1 and 2 Corinthians, we count 1 and 2 on our fingers, then we make a big C as in Y and C A. For Galatians, we turn the big C into a big G by bending in the lower arm. For Ephesians, we hold three fingers sideways in an E shape. For Philippians, we flick your hand from palm up to palm down. For Colossians, we drive a car as though you're trying to avoid the collision. Good children, let's do one more time. Starting from Romans, 1 and 2 Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians. Wow, good job, children. Bye. God has breathed life into all scripture. It's useful for teaching us what is true. It's useful for correcting our mistakes. It's useful for making our lives whole again. It's useful for training us to do what's right. Training us to do Second Timothy three sixteen. Second Timothy three sixteen. Hi, Carish Kids, Teacher Dockers here. Thank you for joining us for a Sunday morning game. It's called the Word Scramble Game. You need to unscramble the letters to make them into a proper word. Do you guys want a clue? The clue is the names of the books that we have learned earlier on. You have five seconds to unscramble the letters. You may pause the video if you need more time. So, are you ready? In three, two, one, 
Let's go. We have now covered the 12 books of the New Testament, the four Gospels, one history book, and seven letters of Paul to the early church. Through Paul's letters, God showed us how you and I can build a strong church that God will be proud of. me to pray for you today. Dear Daddy God, thank you for showing us how we can build a strong church that can glorify you through the writings of Paul. Help us to stay faithful to you and be united as the believers of Christ. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. As always, we are so glad to have you with us today. Well, don't forget to invite your friends to join us the next round. Check out our activity pack for more goodies that can help you to grow in God. Have a blessed weekend, everyone. Bye.